What's up Freedom Gorillas? Today I'm going to show you how to install the Holosun 407K on the Beretta APX A1 Carry. Pretty excited I was able to pick up this Beretta. It is my first Beretta. Uh, my dad has one. I was able to shoot his. Loved it. Um, but really I saw this one on sale at my local gun shop last year for $350 and Beretta was actually running a $100 rebate on it. So I picked it up. Really it's $250 with that rebate. It's optics ready, which is crazy. $250 for an optics ready Breda. Really good deal in my opinion. Although it's kind of funny, this Breda came across my radar because I saw it on a YouTube shorts. People were making fun of the trigger that it's a pretty hard pull. Uh, but I actually haven't had any issues with it. Another cool thing about this pistol is Breda was actually offering a free adapter plate uh, for the K series. And all you had to do is register the, register the gun. Super simple to do the rebate. It was like two or three minutes. Super simple to register to get the free adapter plate that was like another two or three minutes so overall pretty happy with that so let's get into how to install this 407k on this Beretta like any other optics ready pistol out there it's actually pretty simple to install it it's just removing a couple of screws and putting two new screws on that comes with the uh, adapter plate from Beretta so first things first is we're going to unscrew the two screws at the back and we'll have to make sure that we're putting the adapter plate on correctly. There's two little nubs on the front and if you look at the 407K, there's also two little nubs in the front you can see those uh, little indents where those nubs go. So it has to be in that orientation there. Then I like to do a rough fit, kind of see what it's going to look like when everything's installed and nice and tightened. From there, we're going to put those two screws in, make sure that everything is tightened. These two screws that come from Beretta, uh, they do have blue Loctite already on them, so there's no need to add anything additional there. Literally just have to tighten it to 15 inch pounds first, then 20 inch pounds, and 25 inch pounds. And if you're like me, kind of wondering what's it look like underneath, um, you know, you can't really see it. Uh, you don't see the screws poking out at all. So once everything's tightened up, you're pretty much good to go. You can turn on the optic by pressing the plus button for a few seconds. It'll turn on. Might take you, you know, you moving the gun around so you could see actually see the red dot. But overall, I mean, it's kind of perfect the way that it fits onto it. It's very flush. Nothing sticks out on the sides, which is one thing I'd be concerned about, especially from a concealed carry standpoint. My overall thoughts on the Breda though, is I kind of hate how there's all this additional space on the back right behind the 407K. I feel like that could have kept the iron sights there. But the 407K is kind of cool. It does have these like two notches that are gonna act like rear iron sights on it. And you are able to see them lining up with the front iron sights uh, when you hold it up properly. So that, I do appreciate that from, from uh, Holosun and Beretta. Now as far as Holosun optics go, you could do the 407K or the 507K or even the EPS or EPS carry. The EPS carry is probably going to be the best option in my opinion if you're going to do concealed carry with it and be putting it in your pocket. Um, you wouldn't want any lint or anything to show up on the lens itself. That'd be one concern I have if, if you keep that into your pocket there. But for me, the 407K is perfect for, for this application, so extremely happy with it. If you want to learn more about the 407K or any other uh, optic that Holosun has, like the 507K or EPS, check out the next video. And as always, you can check out freedomgorilla.com and we'll be able to help you with any of your optic needs. Thanks for watching.